Scalar 3 came out. Of course, I'm excited, but frustrated out the gate. Um, so this video is hopeful that they'll just fix this problem that I think is a problem. I could be wrong, but I definitely don't like this feature and it changes the way I use it. So I'm going to show you what I used to do in Scalar 2, and then I'm going to show you Scalar 3. So here's Scalar 2. Here's some chords. Doesn't really matter which chords I use. This is the feature that I'm frustrated with. When I turn on Humanize both on Scalar 2. All right, so I'm going to show you Velocity. It only affects the Velocity. Now I'm going to turn it on Timing. See how I can hold a chord, but it's still just the timing that's changing. Now I'm going to put it on both. So the only thing changing now is you're getting both of these to change, right? So, but you see how timing plays all the way out to just like um, velocity does. All right, now let's jump to scalar three. So here's scalar three. Here's some chords, doesn't really matter which ones. They're all locked to these keys down here. You can see them. So if I don't have on humanization, I can just play, right? And it sounds okay. However, when I turn on humanization velocity, plays fine. Switch over to time and watch this. It's not playing the notes all the way through. Switch to both. Not playing all the notes all the way through. This is their soft piano, if I'm not mistaken. All right, swing, works. Quantize, works. So for some reason, the timing is not working properly. And they gotta fix that for me, because that's a huge, a uh, feature that I use when I'm trying to make my song sound more natural and I need to be able to press both and this, what is this? Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. So that's one feature that's an issue. The other one is, now I imported this in, but they only let you currently import one at a time, which is just awful if you ask me. Um, and then, so here's the import. So instead of it letting me just pull this whole folder, it's making me do each one of these at a time. And I prefer if I could keep them in the folders. Previous version, here I'll show you, Scalar. You'll see here, I have them in folders. There's no refresh option to even let it see folders. So like I have, um, see how they let you do export chord set, delete, import chord set so now the way they've set it up is like you can only import one at a time that's not going to work that's going to be frustrating if you got you know 700 chord packs how in the world would you import those in if you can't do it if you got to do it by one by one there's no way you're going to want to do that so they got to fix those two things for me for me to want to do more than what i'm doing right now on video I'll do a review later. I sent in a report about the import portion. Now I got to do a whole nother report about this timing issue that they need to work out. These little things that really make a difference in me wanting to use the device or not. All right, that's it for this one. I'll get back with you once I have a video where this thing is functioning right. Otherwise, I'm out.